One thing I always try to keep in mind is that different types of signals in the modular system are not necessarily incompatible with each other. A function with curved sides is made of the same stuff as a gate with straight sides. If anything, the bigger differences in the system are between inputs and what they are expecting, so to speak. For example, even though clocks and gates are nominally made for switching and event initiation, they can still be patched to inputs that expect continuous CV often with useful results. I like to use the Tempe to modulate the parameters of the DPO's final output. Fold, angle, shape. The result is a rhythmic switching between parameter levels as set by the panel controls and attenuators. Let's also patch an output to the strike input for a little percussive flare. This is great for drones, but is also a very effective way to add animation to a sequence. Let's use one output to clock Rene. Here's what it sounds like without these rhythmic timbral modulations. And with. Both the initial settings of the panel controls and the positions of the attenuators will have an important effect on dialing in modulation. Angle, in particular, is typically better suited to a continuous modulation source. So let's run that gate through a maths channel to add some slew to it. We could also add Glide to Renee using the mod input. We can add even more motion by shifting channels periodically. or changing states. Just about any CV input in the system can be modulated by Tempe's gates, so be sure to experiment and have fun.